Sometimes it is very interesting to talk about certain people <laughs> because they are so natural and so enterprising. And when I look into the quotes, it is not a quote which came out of a borrowed knowledge or from a book or dictionary or library. I felt it is flowing and I could feel the smell, I could taste it and I could melt with that and from that melting I could create ornaments. John Muir, this is the second time I'm talking about John Muir, born on 21st April in UK, died on 24th December in the in California. Known as, the fa as John of the Mountains and father of the National Parks. Was an influential Scottish American, 42 naturalist, author, environmental philosopher, botanist, zoologist, glaciologist, early advocate for the preservation of wilderness in the United States of America. John Muir said, when one tucks at a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. The whole philosophy of India, the whole philosophy of the whole world talks about this again and again and again, including the Japanese Zen philosophy says, one step leads to 10,000. Everyone drops make a beautiful ocean, full of ocean. Yes, it's so powerful. Just your one is only one important, but that one has to get connected. Hence, Mother Teresa insisted, do not wear a torn dress. She herself was wearing a dress which has got 32 stitches. We were told, Ma, please take this new one. No, if you do not know to stitch, you cannot see the whole world. John Muir said, when one hugs it, a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. The whole world is yours. Then why are you so sad? The whole world is yours if you know to tug and when you tug it, you become so conscious and the tugging becomes so easy, you do not have to go to any university to take a degree for MBA, Master in Business Administration or anything of that sort. When the child is small, I do not know about the other mothers, but the Indian mothers, sari, I see every child tugging onto the mother's sari or her skirt, yes. It's so beautiful. You have learned it. You have become so conscious. If you know to tuck into your mother's dress, the whole world, mother, you have understood. You love it. Throughout your life, you talk about mother and mother and mother. The only time you got disconnected because your mother has taken you to an asylum, a madhouse. And that madhouse was called the school and the college. The school and the colleges have disconnected you from your tugging to understand the whole world. John Mio said, when one tucks at a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. Rest of the world is so all beauty. And you can feel it's so powerful when you tug into nature, John Mio said, that was mother. But when you tug into nature, nature cannot send you to any school or college. You get involved with one, one, one tuck is enough. From one seed, you can see the seed growing so beautifully into one of the most beautiful trees. Into 72,000 nerve centers, into millions of billions of cells of a human body. That love relationship of the husband and the wife. That tugging of the husband to the wife's skirt and the wife tugging to the husband's pants. That attack, they will understand the whole world union. Yes. It's a fusion of the Western and the Eastern. They say when I was in Japan, they had the Indian music with the Japanese music. They call it a fusion. And if you know to talk with your mother, 
You you not know, to talk to your wife and your husband. That was a fusion of the understanding about the male and the female relationship. You don't have to go to any college. You have to be consciously, or you have to sometimes die, become unconscious in that beautiful empress. John Muir said, when one tucks at a single thing in nature, just tuck into one single nature. It is massive like how you touch a stone and you find different different stones and you still keep looking at the stones and one day you find you see that stone and you just rub it and you see there was a diamond or you don't have even to rub it you look at the stone you know whether the, that stone is valued you can convert that stone into any idol and people will worship it yes John Muir said when one tucks at a single thing in nature, tuck to the love, tuck to the richness. You kept on telling to everybody that I am poor. You talk to the poor and the whole world poor, poor to come behind you. Yes, like the Ukrainian people was taken for a ride. They unknowingly, unknowingly, an immature comedian, they elected as the president and the president Felt it was, he's a monkey, that people have given him a garland and he tore it into pieces. Like what the Germans have done in the Second World War, they would given that garland to a monkey, the Hitler, Adolf Hitler. And the Adolf Hitler thought that an uneducated Adolf Hitler, another comedian, he thought that garland, the most beautiful people in the whole world, the master race was the Germans. Everything what they touch turns into gold and diamond. Even they come to my Devanahali, Satanahali, they go and touch on rock and it turn into beautiful granite stones. It is sold out in the market. They know just what they did. They brought in new machinery, polished it up. And that Germans unknowingly fell into the trap of Hitler and finished it is gone. When one tucks it in a single thing in nature, yes. The tugging, leave the tugging of the poor and tuck to the richness. What richness? Not the rich man's rich money. That is like a mushroom. It goes off. Like how the Japanese team came to Devanakali Ashram and said, Tell uh, Swami Rakumji that we will give 50 likes for this project. I said, No, we don't want 50. Who in India 50 rupees? They will take a life if it was a beautiful person. I know, and forget about it. I said, No, uh, not about the 50 likes. Give me your technology. We don't need that 50 likes. Because technology, if you know, we chased it for a thousand years. Yes, that is very important. That money was, was not important. The technology means that, that allow us to tuck to your tech. Tuck to your tech. And if you know your richness, that you don't want the money, but if they give us a little freedom, if they remove all the chains which, which has bonded us, to be a slave, help, help us to just open the lock and we know the richness and we know to talk to one richness, he can, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. Rest of the world richness is the same, such is the beauty. The whole house will be beauty if you talk to the love. And if the husband and the wife understands that love, you, their children understand the love. Never mind you send them to the schools and call, but come back home. Homework is a house relationship. Your samskriti, not the school's homework. Throw them into the dustbin. Never try to re, re dig it back. Yes, reburn it back. John Mio said when one tucks it a single thing in nature. He finds it attached to the rest of the world and you are the world.